Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Victoria and we are going to go on a yoga adventure today with the water cycle. So coming down and sitting on your bottoms to start, making sure you've got a little bit of space around you. We're going to start with a few big breaths in and out. And as we breathe in, we're going to bring our arms up. And as we breathe out, blowing out your mouth like you're trying to blow out some candles. Are you ready? <gasps> That's it. Let's do that again. There's still a few more candles there. Breathing in. Big blow this time. Great job. There's still a few more candles. Let's make this our biggest blow yet. Big breath in. Well done, everyone. That was great. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that I'm sitting on today. And for me, that is the Jar Jar Wurrung people. And I offer them my heartfelt respect. And I wonder who the traditional owners are, where you're sitting today. Okay, are we ready to get started? Let's come up to standing now. We've got a very important job to do first up. We need to shake out our sillies. And I don't know about you, but I've got a few sillies caught up inside me today. And the best way I know to get rid of them is to shake them all out. And so you ready? Here we go. So first of all, get your fingers, spread them out big and wide. That's it. Spread them out big and wide. Make them as far apart as you can. Great. And now we're going to start shaking our hands. So shaking hands. Shake them now. Don't shake them off, but give them a good shake, like you're trying to get some water off your hands. That's it. And now into your elbows. Shaking your elbows. Giving them a good shake while your hands are still shaking. And then up into your shoulders now. Shaking your whole arms. Shake, your shake, your shake, your shake, your shake. That's it. Great job, everyone. And now we're going to start with our feet. So lifting up one foot, toes up, toes down, toes up, down, up, down, and around in circles one way, and then the other way. Are you a bit wobbly? It's a bit wobbly here too. And then starting to shake our foot. So shake your foot, shaking your leg, shaking your knee, like you're trying to get your gum boot off. Really shake it now, shake it out to the side, shake it in the front, shake it out to the back. That's it. Whoa, it's a bit wobbly here. Okay, swapping to our other foot now. Where we go. So again, up and down with our toes. Up and down, up and down. Around in circles. That's it. One way. And then the other way. And then let's start shaking this one too. Shaking your foot. Shaking your leg. Shaking your knee. Whoa. Trying to shake your gum boot off. That's it. Shake it. Shaking out the front. Shaking at the side, shaking it at the back. Wow. Now let's start shaking our whole body. So here we go, shaking your legs, shaking your arms, and we're going to shake them up high now. So you ready? Up we go, shaking up high, shaking down low, shaking up high again, shaking around, shaker, shaker, shaker. And this time when we shake down low, Let's pretend we're splashing in some water. See if you can feel some water when you shake down. You ready? Shaking up high, shaking down low. Splash, 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 splash. Oh my goodness, the water is a bit chilly. Was it a bit chilly where you are too? Do you like to jump in water? I do. Do you think we should jump in this water even though it is a bit chilly today in the water? Well, it might be warm where you are. Yeah, I reckon we should. Are you ready? So on the count of three, we're going to jump in together. Ready? One, two, three. Jump! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh, it's very chilly here today in Little Lake Fort. Oh, what about where you are? Is it chilly, the water? Or is it nice and warm? Oh, it's chilly here for me today. Oh, but look. Let's jump in a boat. There's a boat and it'll be much warmer than in the water. So down we come onto the, onto the mat again, on your bottom, lifting one foot up and then the other, and then putting our hands out to be our boat, our oars to row our boat. Are you ready? We're gonna row our boat. Here we go. 
rowing your boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Whew. We made it all the way onto the shore of the lake. And we can sit on the sand now. And gee whiz, it feels nice and warm sitting here in the sun after being in that cold lake and a bit wet. Let's just take in the sun's warmth here for a little bit to warm ourselves up. So we're going to do some big sun breaths. So as you breathe in, breathe in all the sunshine. And as you breathe out, feeling the warmth travel from your head all the way down into your body. Again, warming us up, breathing in, breathing in the sunshine. And as you breathe out, imagining the warmth of the sun going all the way through your body, warming us up after our chilly start. And do you know, keep going like this, do you know that when the water in the lake and the puddles and the river, when it gets warm from the sun, just like we're getting warm from the sun now, little bits of water float up into the sky and it floats up as water vapour. And this process is called evaporation. It's a really long word, isn't it? Oh, one more. Warm us right up. Breathing in, breathing out the warmth. Okay. Oh, I tell you what, I think I've taken in too much of the sun's warmth. I'm feeling a bit hot now. I can see some beautiful gum trees though. Let's go and find some shade to sit under a gum tree. So jumping up now. We're going to be a gum tree together. So up on your tippy toes and put your heel against your ankle. Or if your tree is feeling really strong today, you might like to put your foot up on your calf like this, having your knee out to the side. I'm going to keep my toes on the floor today. And you can choose what feels right for you. So when you're feeling nice and strong here, getting ready to grow your big branches, growing them right up and having your leaves fluttering in the breeze. Aren't they beautiful? I love gum trees. Now making sure your gum tree is nice and strong because in a minute I'm going to give a big blow like the wind and you've got to see if you can stay nice and strong and not fall down. Are you ready? Here I come. One, two, three. <gasps> How did you go? Is your tree still standing? I hope so. So bringing your hands back down now, putting that foot down, we're gonna do the other side. So up on your toes, putting your heel against the side or up onto your calf. Big breath in as we breathe out and breathe in and grow up our branches, big and strong. Another beautiful tree on this side. They also release water vapor into the sky which floats up high. And this process is called transpiration. Pretty amazing. So letting our arms come back down, letting our feet come back down to the floor. Wow, and we've been talking a lot about things floating up to the sky. And how many of you think that maybe we should float up to the sky too? I do. What do you think? Is it a good idea? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. So, bringing your hands out in front, we are going to blow up a big hot air balloon for us to float all the way up into the sky, just like the water vapour did. So we're taking a big breath in, and as we blow out, we're going to blow up our balloon. You ready? Okay, let's go. Breathing in, a big blow. Wow, look at the big balloon we've got today. I hope you've got a big air balloon too. It's floating us all the way up into the sky. Wow, and we're already up into the clouds. Isn't that amazing? And the clouds, they're actually made from all the water vapour that's floated up into the sky from evaporation and transpiration. How cool is that? Wow, and oh, oh it's getting a bit windy here though now. Are you ready? Taking a step apart with your feet, the wind is going to start blowing us from side to side here. Okay, so whoa, whoosh, the wind's blowing us this way. Oh, and whoosh, blowing us back the other way. 
And again, a couple more times to each side. Whoa, this wind is really blowing us about today, isn't it? Over this way. One more to each side. Oh, and over this way. Gosh, this wind is blowing us from side to side. And now it's starting to spin us around. Can you feel it too? Here we go, around with the wind. And around again. Around again. Oh my goodness, this wind is so blowy today. And it's starting to get a bit faster. So going a bit faster now. And your hands can be down low or they could be up high. Whatever feels right for you to be blown around in the wind today. And the wind is slowly starting now to slow down. So slowing down your wind. Oh, gee whiz, that was very windy. It's nice to be just floating around in the clouds without all the wind now. And then just bring your hands down to your side. So sitting here now amongst the clouds, not getting blown around. And when the clouds get bigger and bigger, Eventually, they get so heavy that the air can't hold them anymore and the water falls all the way back down to the ground. I think that we should be this precipitation, which is what the water is called when it falls back down to the ground. And it could be rain or it could be sleet or hail or even snow. I think it would be a lot of fun to be a big gush of rain so taking your feet a bit wider apart now and bringing your hands up high and we're going to be a big gush of rain going all the way down to the ground. So taking a big breath in, making sure you put a bit of space around you too, sorry. Big breath in. And when you breathe out, we're going to go whoosh all the way down and back up again. Let's do that a couple more times. Are you ready? Big breath in and whoosh back up last one big breath and whoosh as you breathe out what do you think should we maybe be some nice gentle snowflakes fluttering to the ground now I think that would be fun too okay so let's just really slowly this time flutter 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 our fingers all the way down to the ground bending your knees if you need and coming all the way down this time, all the way down onto your back and lying down. Our snowflakes have fluttered all the way down to the ground and so have we. And we've landed in the river. And so this, we're gonna be a river here now where the snowflakes and the rain have fallen into. So bring your hands up above your head we're going to start being a really fast river. So you might like to wriggle your arms and your legs from side to side, like a really fast river. It might be the Murray River after a lot of rain, flowing really fast. Whew! Golly gosh, it's a busy river here. And then starting now just to slow down your river, slowing it down to a bit more of a gentle flow. Oh, just a nice gentle flowing river. Maybe bring now your hands onto your tummy. We might be on the Loddon River now. A bit slower, a bit smaller, the river. <sighs> Much calmer here now. And then just taking a moment to notice your hands. And you might like to close down your eyes now if that feels right for you. And noticing that your hands are moving. Each time you breathe in, they go up with your tummy. And each time you breathe out, they move down. It's a bit like your hands are going for a ride on a gentle river, just bobbing along, up and down. Pretty nice just having a ride on a gentle river. We have been so busy with our adventure today. It's nice to slow down now. With our adventure today, we started off being water vapor, 
and we're floated up to the sky with evaporation and transpiration. And then we ended up right up into the clouds that have been formed by condensation. And then when the clouds got too big, too heavy, we fell all the way back down to the ground as precipitation. And when the rain or the sleet or the hail or the snow falls, it might end up in your drinking water, in the reservoirs or your tank, or it could seep into the ground and stay there for a really long time being stored as groundwater. But most of the water floats all the way through the lakes, the rivers, the streams, all the way back out to the ocean where the whole cycle can begin again. I think that's pretty amazing, don't you? Now just taking a little moment to notice how you feel. You might be feeling calm, or maybe you're feeling happy for having been on this adventure today. And just knowing that you can always come back to this place of feeling calm and happy. This place is always within you. And now just starting to wriggle your toes and your fingers and rolling over to your side. And we're going to come up into sitting well done everyone you have done such a great job today i think you should all give yourselves a big hug and a pat on the back for doing such a wonderful job i have loved going on this yoga adventure with you and from my heart to your heart i say a big thank you for being here with me today and i really look forward to seeing you on another yoga adventure soon bye everyone Thank you.